See, that's what rock and roll is all about. The big bucks. Big bucks. That's it right there. Right fucking, yeah, okay. Because we're all on that screen. one. So hey guys, we're here with the uh, Gearheads tonight at the King's Hotel. Uh, introduce yourselves and tell us what you do in the band. Hi, I'm Evil Dave. I play guitar and and uh, do backup vocals. I'm uh, Willie. I, I sing and stand around a bit. I'm Doug Thug. I play some bass and twist some rollies. Sweet. I'm Todd Todd the Drum God, laying the beats down on the skins. Right on. That's awesome. <laughs> um, just tell us, uh, what do you think about uh, the King's Hotel uh, putting on these shows for uh, the bands and what it's doing for uh, the band scene? Well, I thought it was awesome. You know, it's good to see some speedy music, younger people giving her. It's good that this place is up and running again. Like, it's been just, like, you know, like, kind of languishing for a bit. So it's good that some people are coming down and jamming. It's awesome. I never been winter in my life, ever. But it totally has the vibe and the feel of, like, an 80s punk venue. So... And it has a wicked name, like the Kings, like, it could work, you know, like, honestly, like, it's a decent stage, Greg obviously has good sound, everything's set up good, right? Mm -hmm. Man, there's no reason why this can't become, like, a sort of Winnipeg punk institution, because our scene needs to be so big, and it's so puny now, like, it's so much better right here. Right on. Uh, tell us, uh, how long have you guys been playing together, uh, for, <laughs> with this band? Kind of a personal question, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty, like, we're pretty old, man. We're yeah. pretty old. We've been around since about 2004. <laughs> Around there, we've had like a number of rhythm sections, but this is pretty much the original lineup right here with the boys. And um, we wrote these songs sort of quick and dirty back in the early 2000s, and we've been banging them around for like the last decade. So yeah, we, we played every bar in town really. Never really recorded it. It's kind of a kind of a punk thing. It's like, but we're working on. It. We might record something soon. Yeah, were you guys uh, thinking of recording? Uh, well, I might do some bit in my basement. basement. We'll see yeah. how it goes with that. We got Pro Tools and stuff down you know, there. Yeah, yeah, it's very easy nowadays to yeah, uh, yeah. make your own sure. music and put it on the internet. We're new songs as well too, so uh, you know that way we're not playing the same twelve songs over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, speaking of music, uh, what are you guys currently listening to? Uh, myself, I am currently listening to Volbeat, Five Finger Death Punch, and this guy that does covers. His name is Leo. March Marchiellioni or something like that. He's from Norway. Something he does like awesome that. heavy, heavy covers of like Britney Spears well, and, and you name he, it. He, he just blows <laughs> away. I'm telling you, check it out. I'm, 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 I'm always my iPod's always rolling Lightfoot. I like Gordon Lightfoot. Uh, like uh, you know, Benjamin is on from the triple on down. Yeah, I like that shit. I like Canadian rock, obviously. And uh, honestly, like the things I listen to, it's weird. Like '90s music, maybe Counting Crows or something like that. The Wallflowers, Jacob Dylan, you know. Okay, cool. Yeah, chill out. I'm a God Smack Pantera kind of guy. Right on. I got a lot of buddies out in soccer. Blood shots. Yeah, Black you got it. Yeah, blood shots. Blood shots. Blood Moon shots. Moon tan. Moon tan. I was so dying. So good. Actually, yeah, that was my next question. Uh, uh, what's your uh, favorite local bands uh, these days in the scene? Well, that's, that's a few of them right there. Yep. Yeah. I'm a pretty big fan. I grew up with Jason Tate, so Weaker Thans. I like Weaker Thans. I know they broke up now, but he's a big Watchmen guy, 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guess who, by the way, a little known fact, American Woman, first uh, number one uh, hit in the United States of America by a Canadian band. Guess who? So 100% for that. That's a local band right there. We just all chipped our money in together to buy a Nickelback's Greatest Hits. Yeah. <laughs> Not good, there's, there's one song on it. Yeah. You know what? I, I should, it was I mean, a blank album. Actually, in the right car with the right clothes on, I don't even mind listening to Nickelback. back. With the right clothes on. <laughs> no, like, really? What's wrong with it? Hey, hey, hey. No, whatever. All right, so you call you guys uh, selves the uh, gearheads. Is there any type of uh, special gear you guys use or um, equipment that you guys are into? Well, I'm off the gear now. I've been in the program for about 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little, uh, what a year? Little, little known fact, like we're car guys, motorcycle guys. Uh, hey, what is the greatest uh, show guys you guys have ever uh, played? Yeah, at the game. I was saying yeah, Chicken Days. Yeah, Chicken Days is one that we yeah. played. We played the United yeah. Center for uh, Thursday Night Live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. Most people we ever played in front of was maybe around 400 people. And it was funny. Because it it's like <coughs> people don't know what to expect, eh? and then when we played it, and it's like I watched the room kind of some of the people in the room like leave and go get a drink and go to the bathroom. Then you watch other people like paying attention to you. It's like so tonight there's like four people maybe watching us, the rest are playing pool, doing whatever. So when you when we were there at that place, there's like 400 people, there's only four people watching us. So it's like it doesn't really change. That makes sense. So what can we expect from you guys uh, in the future as far as uh, music or shows or recordings? We're just going to keep banging around, I guess, yeah.
summer festival, play biker parties, lots of campfire shit. Yep. We're not going anywhere. We've been around for a long time. We, we, know, we, know we're not, we know we're not mainstream music, so we're cool with that. Like, we're old men, but we're still fucking punks at heart. And you know what? It's all good, man. We got a couple gigs coming up at the nursing home. Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> right on. Thank you for your time uh, tonight, guys, and uh, it was great talking with you. Thank right you. Thanks, boys. Thanks, man.